What's up, bikes? Today we'll be taking a look at some cheeseburgers. And we talked to Mason about the volleyball season. I'm Darren. And I'm Mason, and your news starts now. interested in joining the Civic Engagement Club, the first meeting is tomorrow in E5 during activity period. The parent meeting for the Boston New York City trip is Wednesday in the library at 7. If you have any questions, see Mr. McAllister. The, out the outside date form is the outside date form will be available Wednesday in the front office. The Spirit Club is looking for ideas for Spirit Week. There is a survey you can complete on Schoology. The debate squad did really good in their first tournament, so good job. Meat sticks are still on sale in room 111 and 8 and 925. Neil Shusterman, an author, will be here October 11th from 1045 to 1145. So if you want your copy of Thunderhead autographed, make sure to check it out. I'll be back over with sports after this quick commercial break. Wow, the yearbook from last year looks great! What the heck? If you like the design from this year's yearbook, you can order next year's early. What? Really? How? If you're interested in ordering a yearbook for 2018 through 2019 school year, stop by Mrs. Riley's room in C2 before or after school or any time between first and third hour. You can also order them online at jostens.com. Yearbooks are only $70 until March. Wow, I better get one right away. No! University Volleyball will be playing at home against Washburn Rural today at 5. The first 24 students to go to the game will get a free donut. Benton went out and talked to the volleyball team captain to see how their season is going so far. Let's see how it went. Okay. Hello, Vikes. Today we're with the volleyball captain, Mason Harder. So, what's the record of your team? We are 13 and 4. How has your season gone so far? Um, pretty good. We just won the Lansing tournament and knocked out Lansing at their home court, which is who we lost to in the sub-state championship last year. So, it's going pretty decent so far. When is your next game? Um, we play tonight at home against Washburn Rural, and it'll be best three out of five. It's also elementary night, and we would really like it if you guys came to support. Do you have any goals for the rest of this season? Um, one of our main goals was making it to state and winning the whole thing, so we have big expectations for ourselves. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Should I go ahead and go, D? Switch and go ahead. All right. Well, good luck to the volleyball team. The girls' golf team placed fourth in the city tournament. Congrats. Permission slips and the $5 to ride the Spirit Bus on Friday are due in the front office by today, so make sure to get those turned in. Now let's see what Josh has for us with the weather. Good afternoon to you. We are tracking a slight rain chance a little bit later on today, but I think most spots will stay dry. Our next best rain chance holds off until we get to Thursday night and into Friday. We could have some rain moving in from the northwest. This could be locally heavy at times, so maybe lingering out the door Friday morning, it could be a wet drive to school. But along with this, it is associated with a cold front. So while the next few days will be hot with temperatures primarily in the 90s for highs, once we get past Thursday, we are tracking highs in the 70s from Friday all the way through the weekend. 
so it's going to be feeling much different and much more like fall as we head into the later portion of this week. And now for your SVTV seven day forecast, you can see that again, that drastic change from Thursday to Friday, high temperatures fall 20 degrees in just a matter of 24 hours. Some rain could linger into Friday before drying out as we head into the weekend and early next week. Now back to your anchors. All right, thanks Josh. So today is National Cheeseburger Day, one of the most important days that we celebrate as a country. In fact, why do we even have school today, Darren? I don't know. Well, anyways, me and Ike went around Topeka to find out which burger is the best burger in town. Let's go see how we did. Burgers, just the thought of them makes your mouth water. A thick slab of ground beef cocooned between two buns. Then of course, there's the extras. Onion straws, ketchup, mustard, bacon, Swiss cheese, cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, really any sort of cheese. I one time had a burger which had a layer of mozzarella sticks. Oh wait, make that two layers of mozzarella sticks. Loving burgers and being American is practically one and the same at this point. The craft of making burgers originated in America. The first artist to develop a burger was Louis Lassen. The burger originated in the early 1900s and was arguably the best invention created at the time. In recent years, the craft has only been perfected with fast food chains putting their own spin to the burger, as well as some experts that focus specifically on the art of the burger. Ike and I went around to Topeka to find which burgers are worth your time. Right now, trying the McDonald's plain cheeseburger. Right off the bat, it's not very big. I like to call this a vegetarian burger. Here we go. The initial flavor that I get is the cheese because there's just as much cheese as there is meat really on this thing, but I mean, we spent a dollar oh eight on this burger. Any other burger would have been a lot more than that. So you get what you spend, you know what I'm saying? But if you want a good burger, McDonald's isn't the way to go. <laughs> oh yeah. So now it's time to try the Freddy's burger. Right off the bat. Looks pretty good. At least it has some meat on it, unlike McDonald's. So uh, let's go in for the kill. It's very airy. The meat itself is really good. Yeah, overall this is a good burger. I'd give it 3.5 out of 5 burgers. Right off the bat, already looks a lot bigger. I can actually see the meat this time, so let's try it. Yeah, that's a good burger. <laughs> that's a good burger. It just seems like it's getting better and better. Obviously, more meat. That makes it, it makes it better. I'll probably give this a four out of five burgers. Just slightly better. All right. Now it's time to try the Wendy's one. Looks pretty good. It's really flavorful. Yeah, that's a good burger. It's really just a nice combo of everything. Good sauce, good meat, the cheese is there. I'd probably put it on the same level as Five Guys. Four out of five burgers. Time to try the DQ burger. I want to say something about the taste, but there really isn't anything. The only thing I can really say is it's overcooked, and uh, Dairy Queen should stick to making ice cream. I would give this probably uh, 1.5 out of 5 burgers, kind of down there with McDonald's, but it's not bad. We got a burger stand to try their smoke burger. Right off the bat, this just looks, come on, this looks awesome. I'm excited, my mouth is watering. I've already had like eight burgers, but this one, I'm gonna get something for Yeah, this is a good burger. You know, it's meaty, 
The sauce is good. It's cooked well. The flavor. The taste you can get down. We've been doing a five burger scale. And so, so far, five guys has had the highest with four out of five burgers. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this burger nine out of five burgers. <laughs> That's how good it is. Oh, hey bikes. Just got back from this weekend where I spent the entire time passed out on a couch growing up. Finally got done editing the story, and if you enjoyed it, heck, let me know, because I might be doing a lot more of these. Hot wings, tacos, pizza, ice cream, you name it. And uh, if you want to donate towards the cause, just let me know. See you next time, bikes. Wow, Mason, that looked like a lot of fun. Yeah, it sure was. And I might be doing a hot wing challenge next, so stay tuned for that. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Don't forget to go out and support the volleyball team tonight. Stay classy, Vikes.